Hello everyone, this is Gregs with a quick demo on how to create a worm gear set in SolidWorks. Alright, right now I have a worm gear set already in GearTech and it is saved to a file. So to create this set in SolidWorks we need to go to CAD and then select the Create CAD Models and Assembly. And we have a few options here. We can just create the the active model only or the models that may be in the assembly or the model and the assembly and then we have other options here I want to overwrite any existing models and the assembly so this is going to create both the worm gear the worm and the assembly so I'll just click the create in SOLIDWORKS 2010 button and away it should go so right now it's creating the the worm wheel and I'm using the advanced setting to create the worm the cut so it's going to take a little extra time <coughs> so it's how it looks right now is cutting the one side of the tooth cut and after that's completed then it's gear tech is going to tell SOLIDWORKS to pattern that cut so we get the cut on both sides and now the worm is being created and all the parts are going to be assembled together in SOLIDWORKS so now the assembly is complete we can take a look at it drag it around get it into position here and then we'll do uh, some interference checking and do the calculate now with this advanced tooth setting it's only going to create one tooth. I'm going to ignore that one. I just want to see the interferences that might be with with the worm and the worm wheel. So it looks like we have a couple of small interferences somewhere. There is one. Nope, that's still often it looks like we don't have any interferences on this one. Model. Let's see, let me go to a different view here. Okay. So now we have a cut in the worm wheel that is accurate enough for at least rapid prototyping. We don't really recommend that you use this for manufacturing. Uh, we just don't have enough experience with it yet but for right now I would limit any use of this model to rapid prototyping so thank you very much